Godless Spellchecker had a fascinating article about anti-atheist bigotry, and a Twitter user named Ahmed, who speaks Arabic, noticed that atheism is not a crime, is, uh, or was, trending on Twitter in Arabic. So he wanted to see what some of the tweets were, and it ain't pretty. So he uh, translated these tweets to show us exactly what's going on here. Now, he first says, atheism is not a crime. Below, th these are translated tweets from the tag to show what atheists go through in Muslim countries. All right, so first off, we have, not a crime? Ha! If I found an atheist, I would kill him slowly with a fruit knife so he would suffer until he dies. Uh, quite moral. Quite moral comment there, if I don't say so myself. Next, we have... Allah might forgive killers, thieves, and adulterers, but never some who disbelieved in him. There's no worse of a crime. Right. So, it's, you know, not murders, not the worst. Child rape isn't the worst. No. Uh, atheism. There's no worse a crime than atheism. Next. The crime is this hashtag. I swear to Allah, the only and one God, if my brother became an atheist, I'd kill him. Damn, kill your family members if uh, they become atheist. You think there's a may, might be a little issue with anti-atheist bigotry here? Next, uh, you're an atheist? I spit on your filthy face. Because, of course, that's the moral thing to do. So it goes on endlessly here. I'll give you a few more. It's, uh, you Muslims who became atheists should be killed. Another is, atheism is the worst crime, impaling is the least that they deserve. Atheist heads should be completely separated off their shoulders and hanged on a light post for a week. So, I, and again, it goes on and on, man. I'll leave the link in the video description box and you guys can read the rest. Um, so this is a problem that doesn't get anywhere near enough attention. It's even a term that, or a phrase I should say, that... I rarely hear uttered when it's a big enough problem where it should be spoken about constantly. And of course, I'm talking about the, the phrase anti-atheist bigotry. This is something that, you know, we have to uh, get used to and get in our vocabulary because it's something that's real and again, rarely discussed. Anti-atheist bigotry is a gigantic problem. So let me give you some more facts on this. As of 2015, 19 countries punish their citizens for apostasy. And in 13 of those countries, it is punishable by death. Okay. 13 countries? You think that's a problem? A University of British Columbia study conducted in the United States found that believers distrust atheists as much as they distrust rapists. The study also showed that atheists have lower employment prospects. Alright, guys. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? People lump in atheists with rapists. Like, that's a casual thing. And that's in the United States! So, and yes, the West has, you know, whether Europe or the U.S., it, there has been uh, much more ad advancement on this front. But even in the U.S., uh, believers distrust atheists as much as they distrust rapists! That is... Uh, it's hard for me to wrap my mind around, and I'm, you know, versed in, all, in these kinds of different political issues all the time. Uh, they say, in the United States, seven state constitutions include religious tests that would effectively prevent atheists from holding public office. And in some cases, being a juror or a witness. We can't take your word. You're an atheist. We can't trust you. By definition, we can't trust you. Now, uh, to be clear on this one... Technically, it's, this is wildly unconstitutional. I mean, the, the Constitution makes clear, and at the federal level, it's clear, you can't just ban somebody from running for office because they're an atheist. But a point I often make about this is, what does that say? What kind of a message does that send when there's not a real movement to remove this wording from the state law books in seven different state constitutions? If we had on the law books today, in seven different states, you know... Blacks, they shouldn't be able to run. Jews, those damn Jews shouldn't be able to run. Everybody would say, oh my God, blatant racism or blatant anti-Semitism. It's in our face. This is unbelievable bigotry. But when it's atheists, <laughs> people, nobody's working up the, the, the anger. Nobody's outraged. Nobody's mustered this up to say, what the fuck? Why is it? 
Why is it not off the books immediately? That's insane. I mean, think about that, man. If civilization somehow is just wiped out, and, you know, thousands of years in the future, aliens find our record, record of our history books and our law books, whatever, and they stumble across these, you know, these things written in the state constitutions. They might be like, oh, so these were like, you know, the people who were scoffed at. These were the people who, you know, everybody looked down upon. People were condescending towards them. They viewed as lesser than atheists. They were, they were the ones who were shit on in society. But again, nobody discusses this in any serious way. Respondents to a survey were less likely to support a kidney transplant for hypothetical atheists and agnostics needing it than for Christian patients with similar medical needs. Oh, you don't, you don't believe in, in my space fairy? Well, I'm sorry, I guess that, you know, you're not worthy of the same kind of medical attention and medical care that other people. Uh, I mean, again, you want to talk about a clear case of you are less than by definition because... You don't believe like I believe. Look, there's a clear case of that. All right, more. Several polls have shown that about 50% of Americans would not vote for a qualified atheist for president. A 2006 study found that 40% of respondents characterized atheists as a group that did not at all agree with my vision of American society and that 48% would not want their child to marry an atheist. In uh, both studies... Percentages of disapproval of atheists were above those for Muslims, African Americans, and homosexuals. There is a innate, casual bigotry towards atheists that people don't even think is fucking bigotry. Again, this isn't me speaking, this is the polling data speaking. 50% of Americans, they say, even if I agree with an atheist on all of their policy positions... I will not vote for you because I would never vote for an atheist. If that's not bigotry, what the fuck is bigotry? That's unbelievable. I agree with you on everything. Oh, but you're an atheist? You're done. Could you imagine in any other, uh, on any other front? You know, look, I agree with you on everything you say, but you're black. Step aside. I agree with you on everything. You're a Muslim. You're done. Come on, man. Uh, we gotta fucking open our eyes to this. And I'll just give you one more here. Let me give you some uh, polling numbers. This is from Pew Research. This was, uh... Some polling that was done in 2014, and they asked, hey, is belief in God essential to morality? That's what they asked. Now, what's another way of, of saying that? Hey, are atheists immoral by definition? Again, I'll tell you exactly what it says. Belief in God is essential to morality. So, uh, is being an atheist immoral by definition? That's the question. Ready for this? 53% in, Amer in America, yes. Being an atheist is immoral by definition. Again, fill in any other group. Blacks, Jews, Muslims. Uh, bigotry, bigotry! Atheists? <laughs> uh, we got, when you go to the Middle East and you average it out, all the countries, 77% being an atheist is immoral. Atheism equals immorality, period. In uh, Asia Pacific... 71% atheism is immorality. Latin America, 69% atheism is immorality. In Africa, 86% say atheism is immorality. Guys, when you look at the world, a majority of the world is bigoted against atheists. They think you're lesser than just because you're an atheist. So, what do we have to do? Well, look, we gotta, we gotta come correct, and we gotta change minds, and we gotta tell people this is unacceptable. Just because somebody doesn't believe like you believe doesn't mean they are less than. Now, again, you could disagree with somebody. I disagree with all religious people. I just think they're wrong. I don't think their beliefs are true. So it's fair to point that out, and they're allowed to say that to me as well. That's fine. But once you cross the line into bigotry, where you believe something like, no, no, you are immoral by definition, then what you're saying is, well, you know, you need to have the, a religious uh, mindset and framework and vision of the world in order to be moral, and that's just not true. I mean, atheists, when you look at uh, other polling data, you find out very quickly, who believes more fundamentally in the message of Jesus? Atheists believe more so than Christians do. So they believe more in helping the poor, they believe in social safety net programs, they believe in equality, they believe in justice, 
They don't, you know, they want to let people do whatever they want as long as they're not hurting anybody else. So you don't need God to be a good person. You could just be a good person. This idea that it's impossible and you are immoral by definition. No, no, that is clearly a deeply, deeply bigoted uh, idea and position. And we have to fight back against it. And we have to let people know, look, we got to get it to the point where the outrage at anti-atheist bigotry is equal to the outrage at uh, racism or equal to the outrage at anti-Muslim bigotry or anti-Semitism. This is a group that needs uh, standing up and people saying, enough, enough, enough. I'm not less than you because I don't believe in space fairies. I'm not less than you because I don't believe in fairy tales, okay? I still have a moral code. I still believe in right and wrong. I still think we should treat people uh, uh, right. But obviously, if you think I'm immoral by definition, you don't. Because that would make you a raging bigot.